Nelson 6.4 to 6.7 these are the chapter numbers of the book and here we have a test paper preparation it is on R2 and R3 and we are starting off with thinking problems T1 prove or refute so we have absolute value that means magnitude of a minus v whole square plus sum of two vectors their magnitude square is equal to 2 times magnitude of a square plus magnitude of b square. So you have to figure out whether this statement is true or not and prove it. We have six questions like this in my videos. So I'll recommend you to go through them if you have difficulty doing this. Uh, they are very similar and at times I have seen one of them in turn uh, coming in the test papers. So the idea is to understand how to do these kinds of questions. Now as I've suggested earlier you should stop the video and write down the answer and once you've written the answer look into my hints or suggestions. So first suggestion of course is to watch the videos which are very related. You might get exactly the same one also. The second one is just to remind you of the formulas which you should know and that is uh, we're talking about two vectors a and b right so let's assume that this is vector a and this is vector b and angle between them is theta so we are saying that this is vector a and this is vector b an angle between them is theta so what is a plus b you can complete the parallelogram and then this line gives you a plus b right so important thing is when you do a plus b then this angle is theta so this angle is 180 minus theta however for a minus b which will be this side the angle will be theta so this is like a minus b correct and uh, the one which I've drawn earlier the longer diagram which seems to be here if the angle is acute then the longer will be a plus b right so here the angle is 180 minus theta and therefore using cosine law the formula really becomes let me write down the formula for you so that you remember that and that should help you to answer this question and that is that a plus b I'm saying magnitude of a plus b whole square is equals to magnitude of a square plus magnitude of b square I mean minus 2a b cos of 180 minus theta now when you do cos of 180 minus theta actually it becomes plus and so what you get here is magnitude of a square plus magnitude of b square plus 2ab cos theta However, when you do a minus b, then the magnitude square of that using cosine law, the same triangle, will be a square plus magnitude of b square minus 2ab cos theta, right? Now, so that is the formula, right? So when you add these two formulas, you get your result. So it seems that the results is perfectly correct. So that is how you can prove it. Okay. Thank you.